Michael Monroe has reflected on his friendship with Guns N' Roses and their secret collaborations on their respective albums. The rocker was recently the opening act at Guns N' Roses London shows as they headlined Tottenham Stadium on July 2, 2022. Slash also appeared on Michael's new album I Live Too Fast to Die Young, which was released on June 10. Talking about reuniting with the group on the road, Michael shared what it was like to work with the band, saying, they're great guys and a brilliant band. Read next, why Metallica's Master of Puppets has shot up the UK chart thanks to Stranger Things they're good friends from the 80s. Axel did a cameo in one of my videos. Rock icon Carl Palmer says anything could have gone wrong as he remembers landmark gig Rolling Stones star Ronnie Wood's daughter Leah Wood opens up about inspiring icon dad he also shared the little known collaborations between the musicians too, which have included duetting on their album The Spaghetti Incident. That wasn't all. As Michael revealed his contribution to Guns N' Roses' critically acclaimed double album User Illusion, which featured some of the group's biggest hits including November Rain, Don't Cry and You Could Be Mine, as well as a new collaboration between him and guitar legend Slash. He said, I guessed it on their album User Illusion. I played harmonica and saxophone on the song Bad Obsession, adding, Slash plays a guitar solo on the final song of my new album I Live Too Fast to Die Young. Following his concerts with Guns N' Roses and the release of his new album, Michael is also back out on the road for European tour dates and recently supported Alice Cooper, with a UK tour still to come in 2023. The tour starts in Nottingham on February 13, 2023, taking in over 11 cities including Norwich, Ipswich, Manchester, Wolverhampton, Leeds, Cardiff, Bristol, Glasgow, Newcastle, and London. Speaking about recently returning to the UK and preparing to head out on his own headline tour next year, Michael said, it's great. I'm really looking forward to it. The UK fans are fantastic and I miss them. I can't wait to play there again. The rock icon also cannot wait to perform tracks from his new album I Live Too Fast to Die, Young, including Can't Stop Falling Apart and Everybody's Nobody, which Michael describes as a tongue-in-cheek tale about letting go of the so-called good old days, and finding the things that make you happy here and now. He said, the new songs sound great, saying at his recent supporting slots and festival dates that the audiences love them. They went down real good. He added, they really like the show, because of the vibe that comes across on stage. We have a great vibe. It's most rewarding to see how many new people have discovered my music and this band. It's rewarding to see new generations of artists covering my music too. For more
more of the latest showbiz news from Daily Star, make sure you sign up for one of our newsletters Read More, The Darkness Praise Good Role Model Harry Styles as Band Amp Super Collab Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne pin cute messages to celebrate 40th wedding anniversary Liam Gallagher set for Wild Witherspoon's Night with the Darkness as they predict Scrap Mick Jagger in awkward wardrobe blunder encounter in backstage meeting with the kooks.